KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 100, Nasdaq's up 30, S&P's up 23, gold. Gold contract trading up uh, $6.20 at 1782 an ounce. We have silver up 18 cents, trading out at 2216. Light sweet crude up 87 cents, $71.81 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 years flat, 30 years up one at 161.10, and King Dollar. King Dollar gave it up on price again. It's going to be interesting here. We've only been talking a couple hundred ticks uh, points uh, each time with King Dollar. It's been going sideways approximately uh, seven or eight days. My take is it's a building cause to get back to its breakout area. We'll see if that shakes out. Right now it's down 178, trading at 96.09. Euro's at 113, the yen's at 113.43, and the British pound's at 132 to one US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the S&P. Bottom line, folks, is that you're up at these highs, you got another contraction of volume, and I'm sure you're hearing me, sick of hearing me saying this deal. Uh, but the bottom line is that uh, what I expect we're going to see here is that this S&P still wants to test that high, man. When you're, so we got to 470 today. The high is 473.53. You know, my take is that you're going to get the test. And then bottom line, you're going to give it up on spades. So we'll see where that baby's going to shake out. NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. Same type of setup inside the three Qs. Three Qs. The three Qs actually got more volume today. So this is what's pretty cool, is that what I'd love to see, and this would, be a, this would give all of us a lot more clarity inside the marketplace, is that the Qs also test their high. You know, my take still is that uh, it's the 399, uh, the 400 area that it just can't hack. I'd love to see it test the highs, though, man. That's the real bottom line. Now, what you have out here today, you don't have volume again. You're at 43 million. Not bad. You'll, get, you'll end up getting to 53 million. Uh, so we'll see where it takes out. Gold. Gold wants higher price. This is kind of, this is subtle out here today, but we do have an expansion of volume. We did 109,000 contracts out here yesterday. I believe it's 109. And today you're at 136, which is good. It's not, not a huge amount, but uh, the bottom line is you get an expansion, which you need. We did 124 yesterday. We're at 136 now. Um, this whole sideways move here, that's all about building costs for higher price, as is the King Dollar. You see King Dollar just the, go, the opposite way, going sideways, gave it up on price today. We'll see whether we get any action on the way down. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.